It's been over a week since the last video on the $20 Mac Pro Find. In the condition it was purchased in, it was perfectly capable of being used in 2020, even though it's only stuck with LCAP. But can it be better? Upgrading from the dual Woodcrest Xeon 5150 dual core processors running at 2.66 GHz with 4 megs of level 2 cache to a matching set of Clovertown Xeon X5365 quad core processors running at 3 GHz with 8 megs of level 2 cache. Can it be better? On a side note, the ATI X1900 that did come with the system was not compatible with LCAP. So an NVIDIA GTX 750 has been working, but it just doesn't play well with others. So that will be replaced with an ATI Apple Radeon HD 5770 1GB card. Now this isn't the best card in the world. In fact, it's not going to run any of the newer games or anything else like that. In fact, it's probably going to be hampered even with Fortnite at 720p at low settings. But it does have DVI and too many display ports, so it can run three monitors at the same time. Now this is just a quick run through on the replacement of the processors. If you want a more detailed rundown or videos, just let me know in the comments and I'll try to put something more detailed together. Go ahead and subscribe and like this video and make sure that you see the next ones that are coming up. In this process, you're going to need a 3mm hex wrench that's going to be at least 5 or 6 inches long with an extension so that you can get down to the processor, um, the hold downs for the processor. Phillips head screwdriver, there's only 4 screws. Um, rubbing alcohol, 95% or better, or the alcohol wipes to get the, uh, the heat sinks cleaned up and the new processors. The only gotcha that I can see with this is the thermal sensors that are attached to the heat sinks, also attached to the logic board. You should be very careful with those to go ahead and make sure that you don't have a problem when you're pulling those off and putting them back on so that it can get all the temperatures properly, otherwise your fans may spin full time the whole time. Was it worth it? Let's find out and see.
as you can see, after the upgrades, uh, even the synthetic benchmarks, Cinebench R15 went from a CPU value of 257 all the way up to 567. Geekbench benchmarks went from a multi-core of 5017 to 8977. And even Heaven got a good bump in uh, frame rates and everything else went from frames of 42.8 to 45.6. I think the GTX 750 was being held back a little bit. Um, did try to run um, Fortnite a little bit, uh, so I installed Windows 10, installed Fortnite, and went through that and was averaging about 45 frames per second at, um, I think I was running 1080p mid settings. So not a bad bump in processor speed and everything else. This thing seems to be running great and I'm really happy with it. Subscribe, like, and we'll see you later. Thank <laughs> you.